I got a message from one Dennis telling me hi Q256. Thank you so much for your content. I like your content. I love your videos, but I'm finding it hard to watch them because of data. I load very little data on my phone and I find YouTube to be a data guzzler. Is there some way you can help me because I'd really like to continue watching your videos without spending so much on data? What's up and welcome to Q256. Big shout outs to everybody that's part of the Q family right here. You can also join the family by simply going and hitting the subscribe button below and the notification bell so that you do not miss out on any content that we upload. Today I am bringing to you a YouTube mobile app version that does not consume your data. What I'm talking about is YouTube Go. YouTube Go was originally launched in the Indian market, but as time goes, it is trickling down to other countries that actually are also facing the problem of data being too expensive. For example, right here in Uganda, our data is really, really expensive. Now let's dive straight into the phone. I'll show you how to get yourself a copy of this app and I also get to tell you what it does and how it helps you watch YouTube videos with very, very minimal data gusset. Let's dive right in right now. Okay, so over here we are back to the phone as you can see and now we are looking for YouTube Go app. What we are going to do is go to the Play Store app, go and search for YouTube Go, YouTube Go and you will notice most times out of many you will not find this app listed in your Play Store. When you fail to find it on your Google Play Store, if you get it there, good. If you fail to get it, what you have to do is simple. Go open your Chrome and once you open your Google Chrome, type in YouTube Go app and search. Now the search results over here will bring us this uh, will bring us the results over there under most circumstances. Uh, result number one would be YouTube, the main app. And then and then app number two should be YouTube Go. It should read YouTube Go apps on Google Play. Now that's what we want to click on right there. Now once you've clicked on this, it should bring this install a uh, guy right here, the install menu inside Google uh, Play Store. There, so we hit install on that. We hit install on that depending on how uh, fast or slow your internet is. The app is actually really small, it's 9.9 .9 MB as you have seen there. So it's already saving you data. <laughs> it's already saving you data even just by installing it's 9.9 .9 MB. So already we are doing massive data saving right there. Since installing right here. So on there where we go ahead now to open the app. On opening the app, it has this uh, welcome screen right here. It says welcome to YouTube Go. And uh, of course we're going to hit next. Uh, on hitting next, you have got to sign in. Then it asks you for permissions. You will be asked for permission to locate, manage, and play downloaded YouTube Go videos. Now this is a good time for me to tell you a little bit about YouTube Go. YouTube Go has got that feature where it allows you to download videos so that you can watch later. Yeah, basically inside the app, it will tell you, it will show you how you can easily download. I'm going to be going over that in the future to show you how you can do that. As you can see, we are in the YouTube Go interface it looks like the normal YouTube app but kind of slightly like uh, toned down right there let me go locate us uh, of course the very good channel for us to check out right here uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel this would be the best time for you to do so so let's just pick out a video here to watch let's say uh, let me watch this one now if you look at this as soon as I hit the video that I want to watch it will bring you this menu here now that menu basically tells you the standard quality of the video. Uh, it gives you different qualities of the video to watch. There is uh, the data server mode, standard quality, but of course you cannot get high quality because by the time you're on YouTube Go, you are trying to save on your data. Now, standard quality as you can see is 43.2 MB. But when I uploaded this particular video to YouTube, it was 1.7 GB because it was full HD 1080. But now you see, you're going to be able to watch a 1.7 GB video at 43.2 MB. That is for standard. And if you go, that's for standard. And if you go even lower than that for the data server, you can watch it for as little as 5.8 MB. Imagine watching a whole YouTube video for 5.8 MB. Already we are saving a lot of data. Now, 
I told you earlier about the download possibilities in the YouTube Go app. Now this actually helps you like let's say you're in an office and or oh, somebody has given you uh, access to their Wi-Fi password for a couple of minutes and you remember you have those videos that you want to watch and then all you can do is just go hit download on so many of them and you can watch them later uh, wherever you are at. So you can either download or you can hit play for this one just because I want to show you how much this uh, app here saves you the data let's go for data server 5.8 MB and then let's click play the video video is loading and there it is playing you can go full screen on it but if you notice uh, it has kind of shrunk it because it is playing it in data server mode the smallest possible uh, resolution available to you now that's why it shrinks it and of course you notice this is not really HD crystal uh, crystal clear HD but of course you are watching a YouTube video at really really little little data however let's go if I go for the standard version if I play the standard version over here you can see if I put it in full screen standard version is a lot more crisp it's clear and of course it gives you the full video right there looking good and it's in uh, a quality that is actually bearable because most of you people are watching this on a tablet or on a phone so it gives you a quality that's really really good but remember this is 45.3 MB some of you are going to say that's too much data to burn on one video, but hey, remember this is 43, actually 45, this is 45.3 MB from a video that was initially 1.7 GB. Let me just let that sink in. You are watching a video at 45.3 MB, a same, same video that was 1.7 GB. And of course, the standard quality lets you even drop it down to 5.3 MB. So basically, you can go watch my videos and spend 5 MBs per video as opposed to spending a GB to watch it in full HD. But still, you are getting to watch, you're getting to enjoy, you're getting to enjoy yourself and all that in one go. YouTube Go is really amazing. It's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. What I also like to highlight in YouTube Go right here is when you download videos, uh, let's go and download the video just so that I can show you what I am talking about. Let's go back to this, my beautiful channel. So let's say if I went here and hit uh, download the video, so it shall download it. The video shall be downloaded and saved onto your phone. And of course, right there it's downloading. It has that uh, a progress bar showing you how the thing is moving and all of that. And of course, this is downloaded now. It has that little check mark over there. So if you go back to the home screen, you see downloads here has got a little notification telling you that you have got downloads. Now, when you go in there, you find the videos you have downloaded, other quality you downloaded at, and of course, you can get to watch and enjoy this. Now, I got to highlight this other bit. You can share videos. Imagine all this in one app you can share this video you can share the video so many options over here via bluetooth to your social media to your whatsapp as a whatsapp status server all of that and the best bit of it the best bit of it is if you have another person that has got youtube go yes if you have got another person that has got youtube go you can share this video from your phone to their phone without using any data yeah, imagine being able to share a video from your phone to the other person's phone off YouTube without using any data. YouTube Go is the best app for you if you are really, really data constrained and you really need to watch that YouTube video. Or if I've sent you that link in your inbox and you really want to watch it, you know, to support a brother, but then you're having data issues, then get yourself YouTube Go. Uh, YouTube Go still gives you the ability to subscribe to various channels and this enables you to support the creators of the content. This is because they make the content for you and not for themselves. So it is good if you actually go to their channels, watch, subscribe, hit notification bells so that, you know, you get to support your favorite 
content provider remember to hit the subscribe button on this very channel notification bell on this very channel to be notified when new content comes up any time any day thank you so much for watching this one i shall see you in the next one cheers